So you're gonna be able to twist these flow tight valves off of type A PEX, but you don't want to. If you get up on here, you can see all those cuts right there, right? That's from twisting this out. Well, that's what these little teeth right there, that's what they're designed to do, right? They wanna grip on. Well, you do that with type A, this is expandable. So when you go to expand this, you stick the expanding tool in here, what are you doing with those little slices? You're actually expanding them out and making them bigger. That's not good. Hey folks, that fix it guy here. And today we're gonna to be talking about changing out a flow type valve, this time on type Apex. Okay, I have found an awesome new way of doing this by another creator online and it blew my mind. Works really well and I wanna show you today. So come along, let's get to fix it. This is Type A PEX. This particular brand is Upanor. This is the clear PEX, and this is the expandable kind. Type A PEX is expandable. It's always going to say it on it, okay? Somewhere on it, if you find the lettering, it's going to tell you Type A, Type B, Type C. Type A is the expandable kind, right? I will show you what we're talking about as we get into this a little bit more, but I just wanted to let you know, if you have this type of PEX, you're going to need a special tool for it. First thing you wanna do, make sure you shut your water off to your house. So with this, if you actually have some space back here, you've got about an inch to three quarters of an inch back here. Well, all I would do is take this and cut it off right behind the valve again, okay? Give yourself some space. Make sure, like I said, you have an inch to three quarters of an inch left and chop this off. When you're cutting this, I like to use these cutters by rigid, but I also like to turn as I cut, okay? So not just straight down. You don't wanna mash the pipe. It will spring back because that's the way this cool stuff works, but I always like to twist when cutting pecs. Now we've got a fresh surface to start with here, right? We've got enough pipe that you could take a shark bite if you needed to, and you could hook this up. You could just put this on and bam, you're gonna be able to connect really quick to whatever you're hooking up. Or we could do this the way that I like to do it, okay? That is with a male adapter and a female angle stop. I like to hook these up first. I like to get some Teflon on here, a little mega lock on here, get it all tightened up. All right, so then you're gonna put your expansion ring on. There's only one way to put this on because you can see that this actually has a little stop on it. And so just pop that in place. This is already ready to rock and roll. So all we're gonna have to do is stick it on straight up, pull out our expander tool. This is the Milwaukee M12, I don't know, kind of older style Upanor expander tool. These things are awesome though, really nice. Uh, I think you can rent these at Home Depot these days. Um, they, say, they sell manual powered ones, but this is just really easy. Just put it in, give it at least 10 turns, and then just, Hold this in place for a minute. Get it exactly where you need it, straight up and down, or if you needed it to the side, just hold it. This is actually shrinking down on the pipe. That's one way to do this. Okay, so instead of cutting this like I usually do, the new method I just learned from NAS Online is to use a tubing cutter. I would have never have thought, man, you just need a tubing cutter that goes up to inch and an eighth. So what we wanna take off of this valve is actually going to be the same place that we cut it around, right? Right around here. We're just going to get as close as we can to this edge and we're gonna clip that. And that right there should make all the rest of this pop out and it'll make for an easy way to get it off. So right here, you can kind of see where this O-ring is. You want to be on that O-ring or maybe just a little bit after it, but you want to be able to pop this piece out. As close to the front as you can get it, that's where you want to take this out, okay? And 
and it just starts popping, popping and cracking, and bam, that piece is off, that's out, and now look at this. You can slide this back, and bam, we're right where we were at with my cutting method, except so much faster and neater. Right here. I don't have to worry about sawing my hand off. Look at that, it's cutting it. Just taking a sweet, sweet time there. Get that off of there. Get that hooked up. Man, so much nicer. Boom. That's out. That's off. And our pipe is actually in really good shape. So at this point, we'll be able to take our PEX ring. Get this hooked up. About 10 of those. Slap this bad boy on there. We've already got these together. Right? Just tighten everything up and then you'll be able to put this on straight exactly where you want. Just hold it for about 10 seconds. Let this shrink down over it a little bit. Now this is all hooked up. You've got a quality repair and you're gonna be able to remove this if your angle stop ever fails. Turn your water back on to your house and then test for leaks. All right, folks, that is the best way to change out a flow tight valve, in my opinion. This was a gem of a hack for plumbers. All right, changing these out sometimes can be a bear. I don't mind the cut method that I usually use, but this has definitely changed my mind and it's the method I'm gonna try to always use at this point. I really hope the videos are helping. Please subscribe, click that like button. We'd love to have you keep coming back. Thank you very much and we'll see you again real soon.